This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Friday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, Relying Upon the Word of God. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. As we approach the final days of this liturgical year, we continue to read about the end of the world. Today we read that both heaven and earth, as they currently are, will pass away. This is worth pondering. We know that life is full of change. It has been said that the one thing that never changes is change itself. Everything else changes. But when it comes to earth, it is hard to believe that it will one day pass away. Some scientists believe that the earth has existed for over four and a half billion years. That's a long time. Now consider the fact that Jesus prophesied the end of this earth as we know it today. When will it happen? Only God knows. Heaven as it exists today, is also prophesied by our Lord to pass away. Heaven, as it is right now, is a pure spiritual reality in which the only corporeal bodies present are those of Jesus and our Blessed Mother. The rest of heaven consists of the divine essence, the souls of those who have been redeemed and the angels of God. But if heaven even passes away, what awaits? First of all, the only reason that these two realities, heaven and earth, will pass away in their current form is because at the final judgment there will be a new heavens and a new earth, as spoken of in the book of Revelation. At that time, heaven and earth will be united as one, and this new creation will exist for eternity. But is there anything that is currently eternal? Anything that will never experience change? We humans will be changed at the resurrection of the dead. The angels will encounter a new home, so to speak. And God will establish a new and permanent kingship. But according to Jesus' teaching today, the one thing that will remain are his words. My words will not pass away. Again, this is worth pondering. In a world filled with change and uncertainty, we need some form of stability. And that stability is the truth found in the Word of God. The Word of God, as revealed to us through the Scriptures, must become our rock foundation upon which our whole lives are built and exist. Pondering, praying with, meditating upon, and believing the Word of God enables us to stand on firm and unchanging spiritual ground as we go through the change of this life and even the changes that will come at the end of time. Though this may seem somewhat mysterious in nature, it is a helpful truth to understand and believe. Everything will pass away except Jesus' words. Thus, the most secure thing we can do in life is to cling to His words and never let go. Reflect today upon the importance of truly immersing yourself in the Word of God. How much time do you spend each week reading it, praying with it, and allowing it to become your daily food? The Word of God is not simply a book of teachings meant to inspire you or guide you. The Word of God is a living Word. It is God in His unchangeable form. God in His essence will never change, and engaging Him through the revelation of His written Word is one essential way by which you will be able to experience true stability in life 
and prepare for each and every change to come until the final order of life is permanently established. Let us pray. My eternal word, you are unchanging and eternal. You are the rock foundation upon which I must always rely. As I continue to experience the many changes encountered in this life, please enter my soul through your written word so that I will find the stability I need. As I stand firm in you, I look forward with joy to the new heavens and new earth that await. Jesus, I trust in you.